Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug. Today we're finding records that have a null in them, a null in any field in the record. And specifically, the question that I saw was, I have two, three, four hundred columns in this table, and I want to test for null in any field. I think what they were looking for is something that would be elegant and short and uh, some syntax, syntax that would be a trick to get, all, get this. And unfortunately, I don't think there is. Let's go through how to build something like this, because I think there is an issue of how do I properly write something that's going to get all 400 columns and not have it have a syntax error. Let's review. Null is an odd beast. It means an unknown value. So unknown values are not equal to anything. They're not not equal to anything. They cannot be compared to anything. They can't even com be compared to themselves. To prove that, uh, I'm just going to show you uh, if any, any one of these logical expressions evaluates to true, then I'm going to get a one in a row, in a one row, one column table. And all of these things are false. I can't compare null to an empty string. I can't compare null to zero. I can't even compare null to itself. And this makes sense because if I have an unknown value, can I say that it's equal to another unknown value? No. Uh, if I've got an unknown value, can I say it's not equal to another unknown value? No, I can't say that. So all of these return false. So how do I check for null? Well, I have a special operator built into the language, into SQL, called isNull. So this is the operator, is null, and it operates on this value here. So I'm going to put parentheses in here just so that you see that that's, oops, that piece of it is what's being evaluated. So is this true? And the answer is yes, it is true. Null is null. We still don't know what the value is. It's an unknown value, but that's how we have to test for it. So, so let's do this example with the, um, the Northwinds database. I'm going to mainly use the products table. I'm just showing you this little snippet. So um, in this table, we'll have a product ID as the key, product name. And I believe that discontinued is not null. It does not allow null. So, so let's go ahead and look at that data. And there we go. And I have put a couple of records in there that have some nulls in them. This table is pretty clean out of the box from Microsoft. And uh, I've put two records in there, Doug's Spicy Mustard, Doug's Bold Ketchup. Each one of them has a null in a different record. So I can test for these and get the same thing, same set of records back by specifically testing for nulls on these set of records. But what if I wanted to test for a null in any column? Well. Uh, in the discussion that I saw online, people were saying, well, why not, why can't I do something like an asterisk, right? So when I use an asterisk in the select statement, it means all columns. And unfortunately, asterisk only works in the select statement. Asterisk in the where clause doesn't work. Unfortunately, the language doesn't support that. Well, what about the any operator? There was a discussion online about the any operator, and it sort of makes sense. I see what, you know, if you didn't know what any does, any does a comparison, and it does a comparison across records for a certain column. It doesn't test within one record for an entire column. So in order to do this kind of properly and have a straightforward declarative statement, I would need to write this. And with hundreds of columns, this would be tough. I mean, just it'd be tedious, of course. I could uh, miss a column. That would be bad. I could um, just have syntax errors in it. If that's my requirement, I got hundreds of records. I need a straightforward, syntactically correct, complete test here. Uh, what I would do is have SQL help me build the statement. Here, what I'm going to do is Go look in the sys.columns table, and the sys.columns table has a name column in it, and it also has an is nullable column in it. So this is one of the system tables underlying you know, SQL Server, and in this case what I'm doing is I'm 
getting the object ID of the products table and saying, show me all the columns in the products table. And furthermore, I'm going to limit this to only the ones that are nullable. So just to show you that that does something, um, product ID, product name, and discontinued are all nullable fields. So I'm going to go ahead and just limit this to the nullable fields. Now, what I'd like to do is start writing some expressions that start to make sense. So I'm going to take that statement that I had and I'm just going to concatenate a space is null to the name of every column. So let's go ahead and run that. And there we go. So this is just straight string concatenation. And now I've got all the expressions. Well, that's kind of cool. So there's seven nullable fields. And what I need to do is combine those with some ORs, so if any of those are null. So I'm going to go ahead and use the string ag function. And I want you to notice that this piece of it, the name plus the is null, the name plus the is null, is the first expression inside of string ag. So string ag takes two um, parameters. One is, what am I concatenating? or aggregating together, um, and what am I going to use as the con concatenation string? So this or is going to be in between all of those. So string ag is going to take all of these, take the whole column, and put ors in between them. The from, where, and and have not changed here. So now I've got one string all together. It's not in different rows. This is almost the select statement that I need, right? So let me just add the rest of the stuff. So select asterisk from products where, add string ag that's concatenating all that together, and run this statement. And basically what I get is this big long string, and I have copied and pasted that there. And um, here is what it comes out as after it's been formatted, so it's more readable. So I would probably, in a real world situation, just take that and embed it into my statement or use my favorite editor to um, format it the way that you like. Um, but it's a quite long string if you have 400, 400 columns. And that would be my declarative, complete, error-free uh, SQL statement. So in summary, you have this issue. You need to find records that have a null in any column, and you have lots of columns. You would like to write a static declarative SQL statement without writing a stored procedure, a user-defined function, or T-SQL. Basically, you're going to use some SQL to write your select statement, and you're going to use the sys.columns table to get the columns from the table. I hope that's helpful. If you like, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.